Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. As you might know, we've actually been producing softshell crab in our farms. And many of you have actually wondered, how are crabs able to grow back their claws? And how does it actually work? So in this video, I'll be showing everybody some of the crabs that we actually declawed in our system and how do they eventually grow back and form new limbs and claws after a cultivated period of 20 days. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back guys, for those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce weekly content with regards to mud crab farming and shrimp farming, either using RAS technology or even Biofrog technology. If you like our content on this, do like and subscribe so that you'll get a weekly notification on the latest video on aquaculture. So the first few common questions we usually get is, can the soft shark crab actually swim or move around if they have their claws declawed? So as evidently you see from this video, if you put them in a large tank, they're actually capable of moving around even feeding with them without claws or limbs so this is a crab that had actually you know just been declawed for a few days you can see that there's not much growing from the limbs uh, from the declaw part so we actually for social crab production we will declaw the two main claws and three limbs on each side this is actually due to the fact that after you declaw it it will actually grow faster and this is probably after one week or so you can see some of the limbs slowly growing back as a nib that you see over here as form as a whitish tissue and over time they will grow bigger and bigger and start to be a bit darker in color this is where you know they will probably mold in a few weeks a one or one weeks or 10 days it is because their legs are actually fully formed and once they're remote it will become actually new sets of claws and limbs as you see over here and sometimes for some crabs that accidentally drop off its swimming legs as you see over this guy it can also regenerate that swimming leg as well as you see over here and once it mold it will be completed again with all of the full sets of limbs and even claws and you will be able to go back to its normal routine after molting so there are a couple of parameters which affects the growth of these new limbs. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that your boxes are actually very clean. If they are not clean, usually you will have a lot of bacterial infection that will infect a lot of these open wounds of the crabs uh, due to a lot of leftover feet. And as a result, their limbs are not able to grow properly. So solid removal is really important that's why we usually pick a box that is able to remove it efficiently the second variable which is quite important is the type of feed that you'll be providing the, the crabs um, sometimes you do provide them with fish but there are some aquaculture players for social crab farming that are also using shrimp which is sometimes not advisable due to diseases and some of them even use pellets for example shrimp pellets that are typically used in the aquaculture of shrimp and they use it for the social crab because the shrimp pellets at the bigger size they're actually quite big um, and could be normally used for shrimp and also typically can be also used for social crab so these are the factors that will also affect uh, the, the growth of the limbs and of course your typical water quality which is also very important so that's all for this video guys if you like our content on mud crab farming or even shrimp farming do remember to like and subscribe so you get the latest notification every time we release our latest video which is usually on our friday so stay tuned and hope to see you back again at Rasa Aquaculture. Mm -hmm.